Hi guys, uh, welcome to coordinate geometry video. In this video, my main objective is to give you the complete scope about the uh, coordinate geometry. What is coming, what is not coming and how to prepare. Starting with the scope, these are the main areas which are covered in coordinate geometry, which are disseminated in the point, midpoint between the points. So these two are basically talking about the distance between the point. Yep. Next is the slope. So slopes of a line, slope of the parallel line, slope of the perpendicular line. Last two where the compl complexity starts is the shape of the figure. They'll give you, give you a couple of points, a few points and tell you what is this. Is it a triangle, is it a circle, is it a straight line, so those kind of questions. Last is the area, I'll give you three or four points. Find the area of the figure form, so it can be quadrilateral, can be anything. Fine. The problem with coordinate geometry is not that it's difficult. Coordinate geometry's problem is that people normally ignore the topic. So my objective for you is that you have to start working on this topic because of lately this topic has become more and more important. If I'm talking about CAT, you can expect one question in CAT. This question, this topic was not, not, not there in CAT from 1990 to 2008. But suddenly in 2010 onwards, they've introduced coordinate geometry. Uh, coordinate and uh, trigonometry as a part of this so you can't ignore the, these two areas all right and my objective here is to teach you how to do these topics without using any formula so how to study th these topics the best is coordinate geometry is they're all based on for formulas so if you rectify the for formulas you can do a lot of questions in coordinate geometry in fact every question is based on a formula there's a formula for scope there's a formula for everything so i want you to just go through all the formulas so that you become more and more comfortable in the topic and you can solve more and more questions. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pick up the book, pick up any book you've got. If you've got seat taking books, it will contain a lot of questions based on coordinate. Pick up any book, just do 30-30 questions from everything. Yep. So probably 30 to 50 questions will be more than sufficient. So scope based question, do 10, 10 questions based on scope. So I want you to follow my videos. If you have joined us online or in the classroom program, I want you to follow my videos which are there. And trust me, it's a cakewalk. It's a very, very simple topic if you understand from a common sense point of view. Yeah. So let me start with the let me start the first example with the shortcut, the way I teach uh, coordinate geometry. I don't use any formula to solve any question quant, but I normally teach via common sense. Fine, trust me, I don't know any shortcuts. The main thing I know is how the common sense approach. See, all these formulas are good, but they are only valid on a particular type of question. The moment I change the question, everything goes for a toss. Let's take this, this example. Find the distance between this point and this point. Do you remember the formula? If you don't remember the formula, this is the formula for you. Fine. So x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Then you have to solve it and find the value of d. Fine. So for some time, let's forget about the formula and try to understand the common sense point of view. Let's see what's happening. Points now are... 0, 2 and 3, 6. If I try to draw this point on the line axis, x axis, this is x axis and this is y axis. So first point is 0, 2. So 1, 2, 0, 2 will be here. x axis is 0 and y axis is 2. Second point is 3. So x axis is 3 and y axis is 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's my point number 2. I have to find distance between these two lines. Yep. Yeah. This is my point 0, 2. This is my point 3, 6. Alright, so what I can do here is, uh, can I find the horizontal distance? Can I use my Pythagoras theorem here? If I find these two distances, I can use Pythagoras, this h is equal to a square plus b square. Let's find the value of a and b. This how much? This line is what? 0. And this line is what? x x is 3. So this distance becomes 3. Now this is 2. And this is 6. So the distance becomes 4. 3 square plus 4 square root 5 root of 3 square plus 4 square 5 or 3 4 5 with the Pythagoras triplets see what I'm doing is I'm giving you the common sense approach fine now it looks like a little bit more complicated but this is just to explain the chart you don't need to draw any chart anymore fine all I have to do now is to avoid my calculation can I just compare this axis x axis 0 and 2 gap 3 2 and 6 gap 4 one side is 3, one side is 4, other have to be 5. Otherwise, all I can do is do square of this 3 square plus 4 square. 9 plus 16, 25. Root of 25 is my answer. 
Yep. So I can either use the question which is where d is equal to root of a square x x one minus x two whole square y two minus y, or I can simply just do this minus this and th th this minus this. Can you try this question next one number two here? Di this questions. Let's try question number two first. Pause the video and try to do it yourself. Trust me, very very simple question. All I have to do is I have to look for gap between the two x axes. Minus two four gap is what six, three, and five, three and minus five. Sorry. So gap is what eight. Hey, one side is six. One side is eight. Third have to be ten. Yep. Using Pythagoras triplets. Or if I don't re remember the triplet, six square is thirty six, and eight square is sixty four. Thirty six by sixty four hundred. Under root ten. How much time? Twenty second to solve the job. Fine. So avoid formulas. Can you try the ne next question? N number three, voila. Gap between these two five. Gap between these two minus five and eight twelve. Yeah, I can use Pythagoras triplet. This will be thirteen two and five thirteen, or this is what twenty five. Twelve square one forty four, total one sixty nine, which is thirteen square. The answer is thirteen. Trust me, all I have to do is these two point two four six eight. No problem at all. Just this minus this four, this minus this four. Four square for four square root for four root is my answer. How much time? Ten second. Trust me. Yep. Now, can you pause the video to next question? Can you try this question? This is a typical question you can expect in the CAT exam, which is supposed to be a little bit more uh, difficult than the normal question if you try to do it normally. The moment you see area of a circle, you have to think of people start imagining the area of a circle, which means the circle formula for quadratic geometry. We have been given the end point of the diameter. Fine. To solve this question, all I have to do is. I have to find. I have to use these two things, the these two end point to find d. Half of d is what radius. So seven and minus three. What is the distance? Different ten. Eight minus two gap is what ten. Ten square plus ten square two hundred root ten. Ten root two. Ten root two. What I am looking for is radius. Half of that. The answer is five root two. How much time? Five seconds. Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds. That that's all. Fine. So that's all I wanted to cover. So if I want to summarize everything. If I want to summarize everything, you can expect this question in CAT. There will be one question in CMAT. This is most important. CMAT there will be two question based on this. SNAP one question and NMAT will be surprisingly. If you are lucky, you'll get five question. Trust me, all of them cakewalk. If you have joined CTKing, then all these question will be a very very easy for you. Fine. So let me just summarize everything. Distance between the point, midpoints. The moment I find distance, I can do half of that. I'll find the midpoint. Yeah, slope, area of parallel lines, perpendicular line figures, and areas. That's the scope of the exam. So that's all I wanted to cover here. So fine. So if you have joined us, then it will be a cakewalk for you. There are some video. There are all kind of videos available on online. So there are some basic videos. Fine. Once you join us, there are some basic videos. Around three to four video which are basic, which are giving you the right from the formula level. Then ah. Uh, I'll take another workshop. There will be round again another two to three videos, which are just teaching you shortcuts. Find which is my main forte, and then I'll uh, pick it up from there. So you do the basic part first, then I'll take you of the shortcut part. So I'm going to cover both the things step by step. Yep. So that's all I want you to cover here. Try it yourself if you want, or if you want to join us, you can join us on nine eight two zero five double zero three eight zero. You can call us, or we are on ctking dot com. If you're looking for the classroom program or mock e n g g dot com, if you're looking for the online programs, so we have all the pro programs available for you. Find which you can join for your CAD and CMAT preparation. All right, all the best. Thank you.